What's up everyone, this is Loot Hero DX, and uh, today we're doing probably one of the easiest games you'll ever play. This game is literally just run right the whole time. Uh, if you want to train and grind, you run left, but uh, for the most part, you're just running right. So you can get all the achievements out of this game in about uh, 10 minutes. I think my first run to get all the achievements was 11 minutes, but if you're watching a video, obviously that's going to kind of speed up some things, give you a couple of strategies. It's not that there's much to strategize on this game, it's really, really, really easy. Um, like I said, you're just pretty much holding right. I would suggest um, buying kind of the skills in order, so every time you reach one of these townhouses, you're able to spend the coins that you gain from running into enemies. Um, so just buying them one at a time and just falling down that line will get you through the game. And then the other thing I suggest is going through the levels, each of the levels twice. Uh, that's just because the game is a grindy game and it's going to require you to grind some to some degree. Although even with grinding in, I still beat the game under 12 minutes. So just kind of, you know, running through the levels twice, each of the levels. Um, will just give you that uh, little bit when you get to the end that you don't have to grind as long, you know, kind of like uh, anticipating the fact that you're going to need to level up, you're going to need to buy skills into certain things. Uh, and then one of the other things we need to talk about is that uh, we need to get a skill to stack and basically what that is is purchase a skill nine times and then on the tenth time it'll go back to level one with a bronze stack. Uh, we'll need to do that for just one skill, uh, not too bad at all. And then another thing we're going to need to do is beat a level in 15 seconds. Although what I did is I beat the entire game first, and then I went back and did the first level over again. Now the game kind of does force you though to uh, go into a higher difficulty, but it's not like essentially um, you're going into it and all of a sudden the first level is harder than or the first level in the second playthrough is harder than the last level of the first playthrough. It's quite the opposite really. The first level is hardly any harder than it was uh, the first time you go through it. So you'll be able to get that uh, completion in 15 seconds when you go to do that first level over again. And so that's kind of why I just held it from there. Yeah, I do suggest, highly suggest just getting all the skills over and over again. So just going down that line because there's things you're going to need. You're going to need defense and you're going to need attack. Uh, crit, maybe not so much, but then you're also going to need speed so that you can complete a level in 15 seconds. Because it doesn't matter how high your damage is or high, how high your defense is, without that speed to uh, run through the level as quickly as possible, you're not going to be able to get that 15 second completion. So what you're kind of seeing here now is I'm running back and forth. I'm just trying to grind up because I didn't do every single level twice. I probably should have. It was going well for me when I had started that. And then kind of around like mission six or seven, I kind of, I kind of just you know fell out of my mind. Um, and then I guess one of the other things I forgot to mention is that every two levels you get an achievement. Uh, honestly, this is probably the easiest game ever to complete. I think 100% of people have gotten every single achievement. Uh, so 100% of the people that have bought in this game have completed it. And uh, really there's no point in me even doing this video other than the fact to just let you know that this does exist and this is a super easy completion. So I've barely cut any of this video as well, so as you can see, well not as you can see, but uh, for the most part you can kind of understand that this is really not a long playthrough. Uh, there, you only need to complete uh, 9 or 10 levels, basically you just need to get to the volcano level and then do one after that uh, to get that uh, 15 second completion. I, you could still do it in one run, you don't have to do it the way that I did. You can train up uh, in the first level two or two and then just kind of go back to that first level and speed through it as quickly as you can. But you, you really need a few uh, upgrades to speed, and as you can see I'm just flying through these enemies, even though this is essentially playthrough 2. There, there it is, the overpowered achievement. Uh, I ran through the enemies in 15 seconds, it's my final achievement. Uh, I'll show you the, play, or the full list there. Uh, 12 out of 12. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you get your gaming score. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey there. If you like this video, click the sleeping cat on the left. If you're an achievement slash trophy hunter, click this cat on the top right.
And if you're new to this channel, click the sticking out leg to subscribe.